believe it but today is the final day in the studio for the whole residency um, the exhibition is tomorrow and all of my pieces are out the kiln now I finished working on them and so I'm currently sorting out which pieces I'm going to be exhibiting and which pieces I'm not going to show I have a lot more pieces than I expected and I can't show everything so I have to be quite selective with like the particular curation of the exhibition all of the other stuff i'm going to keep for myself and ship home so i need to figure out how i'm going to do that from france i am really happy with how the pieces came out um i was a little bit worried about the glaze here is some of my finished work the rest of it is all in the exhibit but this is some of the stuff that i'm not exhibiting i only had very limited space so i couldn't show everything but here is a little dish that i made I really like this one for jewellery with the little flower and tomatoes. It just reminds me of this trip. So I made this tomato jar. The lid itself is a tomato. There is definitely a flower and tomato theme going on.
getting ready for the final art show exhibition of the residency. I actually can't believe how quickly it's come around. We spent all day yesterday and the day before setting it up, making it look really pretty, finalizing all our work that's gonna be shown there. Um, so it's all starting to feel very real now. We'll also have like drinks and interviews and everything at the show. Um, and then we have like a big group lunch afterwards, which should be really fun, a really nice way to like end and commemorate the whole experience. After the lunch, Noah and I are actually heading off to London. So we're going straight from the lunch to the airport in Nice, where we're gonna fly to London, and then we get there tonight, and I am so excited to go there. I've been in a really small town this whole time, and I'm just craving like big city energy. Um, I'm really excited to eat a lot of amazing food there. As you know, I'm a massive foodie, so I will be hitting up all of the markets. We're staying in Notting Hill, so I think that will be a really nice area to hang around. I haven't been to London for ages. The last time I went was on my gap year for a few days. I stayed in a youth hostel by myself and I met up with like old friends from school and we just partied. And I feel like this time will be a really different London experience that's more like in touch with who I am now. Just food, markets, shopping, galleries. I also got this beautiful jewellery sent to me by a French brand. They sent it to my address in France. So I'm going to wear this to the show. I feel so lucky that they sent me this because it's so beautiful and their packaging is stunning. It's called Agape Studio. I'm sorry if I butchered the pronunciation. I really like these earrings that they sent me. I'm going to wear them. I also really want to wear the dress that I bought in Copenhagen. It's a dress from Rouge and I got it from the markets there. But I'm just worried that it's going to be a bit cold. The weather this week has taken a very autumny turn in the south of France. So a dress might be a little bit too cold. Maybe it's worth it just to wear my favourite dress to the show. The chapel that the show is in, it was actually built in the 16th century. And so it is quite like muggy and humid in there. So maybe it will be okay to wear the dress. I'll show you got blue flowers all over it and I just think it's so beautiful. I'm gonna try it on. I love it so much. I don't have any full length space because I'm living in an attic. <laughs> I can't really show you the full dress but you get the idea. It's so pretty. I love it. I can't believe that this day is finally here. It's been so long leading up to it and everything is ready and everything looks amazing. And I'm so happy. I can't believe my ceramics are being shown in a chapel in the south of France. I'm still just like... Pinch myself. But this is real. On route 